Hi everybody, it's Miss Rossi. Today we're going to be making art based on my favorite book, The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. What you'll be needing today is a white piece of paper. There might be one in your art folder labeled The Dot that you can use, or you can just use any white piece of paper that you have at home. I'm going to take the label off because I don't need that anymore. We're going to need a pencil and some different materials we can use to add color. You guys got to follow along with the story of The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds where we got to see Vashti struggle with not knowing what to create. And by the end of the story, we learned that once you just start with a simple mark on your paper, you can let that take you anywhere and create whatever kind of drawing you would like. And as long as you sign your name at the bottom, it's going to become a original, unique, and exciting piece of your art. So today we're going to do just that. We are going to create our own original piece of artwork by starting with just a simple mark on our paper. And now the simplest mark we can make is a dot, and then we can grow from that dot to create an entire picture or an entire image. Your picture can look however you would like. You do not have to be drawing what I'm going to be drawing today. It is just an example. You can start with your dot and transform it into anything. I know I have that other video of Peter H. Reynolds on my canvas page where he is also showing how to use dots and different materials to create images too and you can follow along with him or you can keep watching this video. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to place a dot of any size anywhere on my paper and that's going to be my starting point and I'm going to see what I can transform that dot into to make my picture. Now you can start with a dot and draw something that is realistic or looks like real life like a landscape or animals or people or you can transform your dot into an abstract image that just uses shapes, lines, and colors to make a picture. So I am going to put my pencil down and grab a marker. I can use any color marker. I think I am going to use black just for right now. And I'm going to place a dot anywhere on my paper. And now, like I said, it could be any size. It could be any color. It's totally up to you what you would like to start with. I'm going to start, I think, with a tiny little dot, and I'm going to put it right there. Now, I can make that dot into anything I would like. Maybe I can imagine something around the dot, or I could imagine this dot becoming something else, or I could even make multiple dots all over that look the same and transform that into something as well. Maybe you want to do a really big dot and it becomes the center of a flower or maybe it's a huge dot and it becomes planets and you're drawing outer space. It's totally up to you. Looking at this dot right now, it kind of reminds me of a little eye. So I think I'm going to draw an animal around my dot and make the dot that I drew the eyeball. I am going to make a fish. I think that's a nice little fish eye. So I'm going to draw a fancy little fish. And I can add some details inside of my fish to make it look more realistic. Now, if I wanted to make an abstract picture, I could have used more shapes and lines to decorate my paper around my dot. It did not have to turn into anything real. I'm going to give my fish a little smile, and I think that looks pretty good. Now, I'm not going to stop there. Now I have this great fish on my paper, and I can create a whole scene with my fish. So maybe I want to draw some other animals. Maybe my fish is in the ocean. Or maybe my fish is in a goldfish bowl. I could really go anywhere with this drawing. I'm going to imagine my fish is inside a big goldfish bowl. So I'm going to draw kind of like the top of my bowl. I'm going to make it nice and round. And maybe it's sitting on a table. But I could have definitely put my fish in like the ocean or I could have put it in a lake. I could have drawn other kinds of fish and sea creatures around it, like sharks and octopus. There could even be like a scuba diver. All right, so there's my goldfish. And I made that line wavy so it looks like the water in the bowl. And now I can draw 
let's see, my bowl is sitting on a table. So I'm going to draw a straight line from the sides so that it's not just floating there. And I can add some seaweed down at the bottom, like plant decorations, and even some big rocks. Maybe my goldfish has some bubbles coming out of his mouth. And maybe there's even a little castle down at the bottom of the goldfish bowl. So I did my castle line across the top, added a little door, and some windows. There we go. Maybe I have a jar of fish food sitting on the table. And I can even give my table a design using some repeating lines. So even though I started with just a single dot, and then I just transformed that dot into a fish, I can still change and add all these extra little details to create a full image on my paper. Now that I'm done drawing, I think I'm going to use my markers and I'm just going to trace over my pencil lines so they'll be easier to see once I start to color it in. I'm going to use all different color markers today. I think I want my goldfish to be orange. So I'm going to trace right over the top of my pencil lines nice and carefully with my orange marker. And if I make any mistakes, that is okay because I can just erase any pencil lines that I miss or I don't trace over perfectly. And then you won't even be able to tell. Now that I'm done tracing over all of my pencil lines, I'm just going to look to see if there are any spots where I can see any of those pencil marks still, and I'm just going to erase them with my eraser. All right, that looks pretty good. I do have watercolors here, but I think I'm going to use my crayons to color in today because I have a lot of small spaces and I think my paintbrush is going to be too big. You can use whatever you have at home, as always, to color in your picture. And when we're coloring it in, we just wanna make sure we are trying our absolute best to stay inside the lines. We wanna fill in all of the white space and we wanna try and make our picture the best that it can be by working slowly and neatly.
And that is my dot picture all finished. So I started with just a simple little black dot at the center of my page and I was able to turn it into a whole image based around a goldfish inside a bowl. Now there's only one thing left to do and that is to sign my artwork. I'm going to pick a nice colorful crayon. I'll use this purple one and I don't have that much space at the bottom so I am just going to sign mine with my name at the top. Give it a little smiley face and then I am done. Make sure once you're finished with your artwork that you sign it and then you can take a photo or a video of it and upload it on my canvas page. I can't wait to see all the amazing drawings you guys are able to create just by starting with a simple dot. Try your best, have fun, and get creative. I'll see you soon. Bye!